In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, you can add the business headline or the title here. When I click, it will show you the first option where you can add the title, detailed text along with some icon. And when I click, it will come with a different color option. The second option, the third option, and then right three options comes again, the same thing with a different color combination so this is the fifth and this is the sixth option and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and you can support my channel through this uh, qr code through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size and you can just drag this outside the small orange point so it becomes less curve shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and align center align middle then i'm going to add uh, six rectangles for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and put it exactly in the center shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice you can see here i can give any color of my choice and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key all right and make sure that it is the same height and width and shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and put it exactly in the the left uh, center here okay something like this and then if you want to give some shadow effect i can just press ctrl d to duplicate and then shape fill i'm going to make it black and i'm going to give some transparent effect for that right mouse click go to format shape go to fill and increase the transparency effect here all right and then i'm just going to put it something like this and then send this to back all right so we got the shadow effect also so now i'm going to select all these uh, three objects press ctrl g to group it then hold the ctrl shift key just i'm going to add one at the top here again hold the ctrl shift key and i'm going to add one at the bottom then here i can just choose any color of my choice so i'm going to select here go to the shape format shape fill i can give some light color here and I can give some more dark color here. All right. You can see here whichever color which you feel better. You can just choose any color of your choice. So once this is done, I'm going to select this and hold the control shift key and I'm going to add it towards the right side. All right. And then make sure to rotate it flip horizontal. All right. So I'm going to give it something like this and then all these three shapes i'm going to connect with the help of this line go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this one which is the connector elbow so from here first one i'm going to put it exactly onto this one shape outline you can make it black color if you want you can just choose any color of your choice maybe you can make it gray as well so then press ctrl d to duplicate now i'm going to just do the same thing for the bottom and then i'm going to connect it here and press ctrl d one more time now i'm going to select this for the center one all right you can just see you can simply connect like this if you feel that there's some problem here what you can do is you can just go to insert shapes and you can just do a straight connector also like this all right so now i'm going to do the same thing press ctrl d so one connector here and another connector i'm going to join with this then again press ctrl d so here and one more i'm going to make it like this you can see and then one more time i'm just going to do for the bottom all right so you can see here this is done so now it's time to do some shadow effect for this also select this one press ctrl d again going to make it black and make this as transparency to 70 percent and then send this to back okay you got this transparency effect the shadow effect for this shape as well 
so now you can go to insert text box and I'm going to type title here center align again if you want white font you can just choose white font and then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text so within brackets lorem I'm typing lorem within brackets one and then I don't want this much long text I'm going to delete this one center align reduce the size and put it like this you can see all right so now both of this text I'm going to group it by pressing ctrl G press ctrl D to duplicate and start adding for each option and just make sure you align it properly so you can see here press ctrl D and one more time all right something like this okay so once this is done you can add one text here also where i'm just going to say uh, the headline or business title or whatever which suits your requirement you can just add it increase the size and exactly put it in the center all right so it looks something like this now if you want uh, the connectors uh, for both the ends you can select this icon you can go, sorry the line then go here you can just see here the begin arrow type i can select this one and end arrow type also i can select this one all right so you can see the same thing you can do it for the rest of the options also so once this is done if you like to add some design here and if you're using the latest version like 2019 or other versions you can go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle like this make it somewhat transparent shape outline no outline i'm going to rotate it a little bit and i'm giving some effect like this here press ctrl d and i'm just going to add one thing here at the top so i'm going to select this option the rectangle hold the shift key select this one and this one merge shape i'm going to make it fragment and this unwanted things i'm just going to delete it and these colors i can just choose any color of my choice you can see here like this it has become separate shapes here all right and once this is done you can add some icons to it so i'm just going to use some icon option again these options are available in the latest version of powerpoint only so some random icons i'm just going to choose six different icons and let me just choose maybe this click insert move this here and then make the height and width as 0.5 only and then put the icons one by one for each option you can see here I'm just going to make it like this and make sure that you align it properly all right done so now once this is done you can just select all this option one by one press ctrl G to group it and once you group it you can give some uh, basic animation effect to it 